a story that broke broke out which uh, was a bit um it was disheartening to mm. realize that this is going on in the 21st century which is um libya slaves people have been auctioned off as slaves in libya Kofi. Hmm. that tells us that what is happening in zimbabwe probably is to prevent this kind of problem yeah when you have desperate people who are migrating uh, you have challenge uh, when they are flooding countries and uh, people will be taking advantage of them. Libya migrant slave market footage pack outrage. In fact, it was so horrible. Uh, CNN have to go in and cover this thing. And uh, in fact, it's so bad that people have been auctioned in marketplace for people to buy them. So you can buy an electrician, you can buy a, a bricklayer, and then according to the, the news it depends upon your skill so if you have no skill lesser skill you can do something on the farm let me take um Prisler's thoughts on this issue of um slaves in in um being auctioned off in isn't libya it, isn't it isn't it sad that in 2017 we're discussing modern day slavery um when you when slavery was aborted over 200 years ago and here we are still discussing Africans being sold by other uh, Africans, Africans yeah. um, you know, for $400, you know, and, and being sold according to skills. It's painful, um, demeaning, and quite a disgrace and a humiliation to, to, to the continent in the sense, I mean, the African Union saying um, is despicable and, and they're going to look into it. I, I think this is a wake up call um, again, yet again, yet another wake-up call that they all need to sit up and, and deal with because how you, the, you, what is the point of your existence? What is the point of the mm -hmm. existence of these governments? Because their primary duty, the primary duty of every government around the world is to protect the lives and the properties of their citizens. And, you know, these African countries can no longer continue. You cannot afford. Um, Niger, for instance, um, and all other sub-Saharan African countries where these, these young people have come from, need to stop whatever it is they are doing and turn the attention because these young people are tomorrow's generation mm. they are the future you know what are we building for them why is it i mean don't, don't don't get me wrong in every country there are always people who are wanting to migrate even here in the united kingdom it is it is particularly um a point of concern in these african countries that governments are sitting back and knowing that these things are happening and they're sort of turning a blind eye or not saying, saying anything until uh, you know it's blown up and the whole world is now talking about it, then they, they begin to faff around, oh, uh, but we're going to investigate that. We're going, no, 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 that, that's not good enough. They need to sit up now and begin to take responsibility, not just for their citizens, but for their countries. They've got to do something. It, it,